Okay, so the other day, um, I posted a question in Instagram stories and I asked people to ask me anything about cosplay photography and buti na lang. There's some people who actually answered, thank you so much, or actually asked something. So I'm here to answer those questions this afternoon. From XZVTZ user, yon. Who do you select the character to shoot based on the model or vice versa? Okay, um, interesting question. But more often than not, kasi I always go after the character first. Because a lot of these characters are, are mine from my childhood. Hashtag, Tito Hits. Kasi these are the stuff that uh, are the anime, the comic books that I um, grew up with. So I basically want to relive my childhood imagination. But then again also may on din naman na some celebrities who come along, you know, na I swear <laughs> na kailangan ko ma-shoot. So I build, I find a character that best suits uh, them. So yun. So one of those, one solid example is for example, si Marian. You know, Marian Rivera is very very beautiful and super kalo to work with and I was uh, lucky enough to work with her to cosplay Wonder Woman and Jean Grey, you know, one of the strongest women in both Marvel and DC universes. So that's one. Let's uh, Jovi Claire. Hi, Jovi Claire. I think Jovi Claire is a cosplay photographer as well. Yeah, so yeah, she has a lot of questions actually. So I'm gonna answer sunod sunod matano mo. All right, Canon lens recommendations for studio shoots. Whether it's a studio shoot, location shoot, I only use one. I always have the 24 to 70 2.8L version 2. I've had that for years. It's a worthwhile investment and it's a type of lens na you know you only buy once and use forever. For as long as maalaga ang lente, you're cool. And but for me, 90% of my shoots revolve around that lens. She also asks, do you sell? Do you plan to sell cosplay prints? Well, depends on the character and um, depends if there's a demand for it, limited editions perhaps. But as I pledged myself since I started shooting cosplay photography, everything goes to charity. So all proceeds, if ever we do think of a sale, goes to Crips Foundation, my favorite um, charity for this. Oh, this is another guy who would ask pala, um, where do you get the costumes? I am Lem2674. It depends. It's uh, a combination of like if the cosplayer has it, like Denny or Alodia or uh, whoever might have it, I'll work with them. But if not, uh, I, I also get designers like Badge Ginata, who's, uh, who has been my cost, uh, cosplay costume maker for the past more than wow, more than five years actually. But as part of the crazy process, I like or being part of the costume creation myself because I'm particular with the kind of fabrics that's that are, that's used during the shoot. Because um, as I've explained in uh, in later blogs, how the light bounces on the fabric also matters because it gives you that kind of depth and 3D feel. So there are times that I change the types of fabric for every part of the costume. So I change the texture of the costume for that. Paul Junel asked any tips for first time cosplay photographers you have to be a geek you have to like what you're shooting you have to know the character it's e obvious kasi kung sino shoot mo lang a person in a costume eh. your objectives for the shoot is sort of blurred which i think you have to establish in the first place whenever you go into a cosplay shoot are you shooting a person in a costume are you highlighting the cosplayer or are you highlighting the character so if you don't know the character or if you're not familiar with the franchise, it's hard to make a decision. So first, of, first and foremost, know the character and know the cosplayer. Then you can decide. And from there, everything else is, uh, is set on how, uh, how you want to shoot it, angle, composition, uh, and all that. But before we get to the nitty gritty of that, please know the person and know the character first. What did it look like on your first cosplay shoot? Oh, interestingly, I was bashed. <laughs> um, 
I did uh, an early rendition of BB Hood, BB Bonnie Hood. She's uh, she's basically Red Riding Hood, um, ano, na bipolar. She's a little crazy. This character in Dark Stalkers, an old arcade game I used to play. And back then, during the shoot, I brought the talent out all the way to Antipolo, some some forest estate in Antipolo, and I forgot the wig. The blonde wig. I had everything else but the wig. My Uzi na ako, my grenades, my toy grenades ako pinagawa, and all that. So as we were shooting it, so long, you know, because of the stress, because of the traffic going there, na wala na sa si isip ko. It didn't, it didn't happen in my head that the wig was off or the wig. I used um, the talent's real hair, which wasn't blonde. It was brown. Then I said to myself, "Okay, na yan. probably ano, and that'll pass." Big. Mistake. Because <laughs> what what for me was already okay as what in my head was baby bunny hood didn't turn out to be baby bunny hood for a lot of people because the archetype more on that in my later ecology uh, video series because the archetype did not match the character and I, you know lesson learned I have to be able to deliver the message properly. And so the character has to be familiar to the, to the ones concerned there. But yeah, to answer your question, I was bashed. And I learned a lot from it. Again, more questions from Jovi Claire. What is your ultimate dream cosplay? Actually, prior to Riverdale, I wanted to shoot Archie. My location na ako in my head, it was filling station and P Burgos, you know, talk to talk to whoever the owner was, get one corner, get one booth corner, and shoot one scene there with Pop Tate, um, Archie, Joghead, Reggie, Moose. Everybody in one tableau shot na ano, na landscape, panoramic tableau shot of, you know, the entire Archie gang. Well, lo and behold, Riverdale happened, and like, oh man, Aww. you know, <laughs> would have wanted, I suddenly, I suddenly saw live versions of the characters now, so, anyway. Also, Jovi Claire asks, Again, oh, lots of questions. Favorite cosplay shot of all time? It will probably be this. I, I personally call this the tea after party. So it's with Alodia Ashley, a couple of models, and another cosplayer, si Faust. I'm not so sure if Faust is still active in cosplaying, but I know he's in the advertising industry. My favorite, because it was one of the hardest ones to do. It took us about three weeks to prepare, five hours to lay out the lights, but the shoot itself, 30 minutes. And this was shot 30 something, something about 33, 35. Then afterwards, when I saw the shot, okay, na yan, wrap. And that was it, you know. And I'm proud to say there's not much um, composition needed in this shot. Basically, it was this shot, and dilagdag lang in post is the smoke because my model over here um, does not smoke. And then the graffiti because it wasn't there. But all the rest of the elements was found and they were all shot all at the same time. 15 lights to rig for five hours. So we had to hide the light here, hide the light over there, hide the light upstairs, and hide the light anywhere and everywhere. So uh, it was a challenge and at the same time, you know, my art director, Jello Lico, who's a good friend of mine, creative, based out of the country now, posed a good challenge for us to do. So, so it was also his great talent that uh, that did the post production of this one, which you know uh, we liked so much, and it was featured in Digital Photographer Philippines back in the day, and it was actually auctioned off in Hong Kong. Believe it or not, it was not sold, but the mere fact that it was considered to be auctioned off in Sotheby's a few years back was. An, an honor for me. So wow, oh my god, somebody actually considered it. So there, a little bit of trivia. Alright, so Dado of Manila asks most challenging cosplay photo shoot that you've done. It's also this! <laughs> crazy! It's also crazy hard. But if there's also another photo that um, I would have to say, let's go over. It would also be this. You know, Sinuerta lang ako with. Alodia, you're such a lucky charm, so you know what I like working with her, I guess, for both creative-wise and talent-wise. In the milestone images that we have worked with, she was our cosplayer. So yeah, so here is one of the hardest ones. 
What I liked about this, no CG was done in this piece. Everything was sh shot. So we did all material shots for, for Phoenix, even down to the very sparkles that you see in the corner. Which I will also show later on in the video, yung mga material shots namin for, for this. The wings were actually a sedated goose. Disclaimer, no birds were killed in the production of this image. <laughs> it was a sedated goose. Pinatulog namin yung goose, then we spread the wings out. Alodia, puti na lang, she was a cheer dancer back in high school and she knew backflips, cartwheels, and whatever. So she was jumping on a trampoline several times, for more than 80 times. I have to take skondami. And of course, you can never get a perfect jumping shot. So the way we shot this, we shot it in bits and pieces. It's not one single shot na glorified. Diba? I know, I, I know Alodia is hella awesome to work with, but it's impossible to get a perfect shot like that. So we had to split it up by just getting the arms, the legs, the torso, uh, even the hair. The hair was shot separately. We tied her hair for this shot. And then afterwards, we got the wig put it on the time na yon, it was a pole literally mangkok na nilagay ko at the end of a stick and then you know flung it around all right so that one the rest of the debris down here it was from the construction site beside the studio we were in libring pa ng back nakinuha namin then they gladly gave it away the background naman is actually san mateo rizal so i went up timberland from time na yun, wala pa masyadong houses sa Timberland. Bribed the security guard 50 pesos, I think, for me to go down the hill and shoot it. Kasi it was, it just so happened, it was I, right after a storm. And there was a, there was an opening of light in the middle of the clouds. Like, oh God thing going down. So, I just had to shoot it. So, there. Um, the rest of the materials here were shot separately. And put together in post-production speaking of which speaking of post-production there was another person um, Vince Ake asks the apps you use in editing cosplay photos you know I don't edit <laughs> much much as I'd love to I am not an editor I'm just a photographer Pho uh, cosplay photography is such a collaborative work it's a team effort so there are certain people in the team who are really meant for editing the digital imagers hats off to them ang gagaling nila and I guess we were lucky enough to work with the ones top caliber in the industry to work with us in shooting things for fun Come another wow another question from Jovi also last one huh? mm -hmm. but don't be a, you know keep on asking I love questions like these any advice on cosplay photo books Okay, so guys, sigaan ang continuity ng Q&A na to. Kasi obviously, iba na yung suot kong t-shirt from the ones that have been answering for the rest. But, screw that. So, again, another question from Jovi. If you're looking at other photographers' work, there are some books that I would recommend. Um, this Cosplay World by Brian Ashcraft. So, that's a compilation of cosplay books around the world. Some of the works of yours truly was there. Yay! <laughs> then, I would also suggest Cosplay in America by... Uh, EJ and then another book um, by Big White Bazooka so it's called Project Bazooka you can get that in Kickstarter I think so I think it's found there those are uh, interesting samples of cosplay books but over and above um, cosplay photo books I would actually suggest going to the source of where do we where do we get our inspiration from so I look at comic books more than anything as well kasi iba ang um, composition sensibilities ng isang illustrator like you know like sila Lainil, sila Harvey, sila Carlo I've always been creatively jealous with those guys kasi I'm a frustrated artist myself I can't draw for sh so I'd rather hang out with those guys you know for, for the sake of creative osmosis may papasbasan lang ako ng kotting talent nila I'm already happy <laughs> but seriously I like hanging out with them, seeing how they draw, seeing how they work. Because when you get to see the way that they compose the images, and if you're able to lift the way a comic book artist will do their work and translate it into photography, then perhaps you know we are introducing something new into the genre. 
But of course, I'll come back to my previous clip. There's a book that I would recommend. So, ikakata lang dyan yung, ano, yung libong yun, okay? But, there you go. Wow! Ang dadal ko pala. Okay, uh, Joey, before I forget, if you're, since you were asking about photo books, I wouldn't say photo book, but I would suggest this. Light, Science, and Magic. This is the fifth edition already. I'm not so sure kung mayroon ng sixth. Pero, this is a game changer for me. And in all of the talks that I give, I always endorse this book. Not because I got paid, no. <laughs> I even paid for my own copy. I got this off Amazon. It doesn't talk about lighting formations. Because in that sense, kasi you're made to memorize light. Eh. You're made to understand light. The nature of light. And this is what this book is all about. It teaches you how light bounces on glass, on wood, on metal, on fabrics, on different surfaces, and how it reacts to in you know in different scenarios. With this kind of knowledge, kasi every situation differs and no two lighting formations will ever be the same simply because the way that the light bounces in the area will always be different. So even if parehong lighting setup mo in two different spots, iba ang results niyan. This book teaches you the nuances of why such things happen and how do you achieve such effect. So I cannot stress for books, it's this guys. Thank you guys for bearing with me and uh, watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like. Um, if there are any other questions, you can throw them my way on my Facebook page, Jita Blanti Photography, on IG, also Jita Blanti Photography, and of course, on this channel. Alright? I'll see you in the next video.